Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, you wonderful people, for being on the Valder BB Show. How are you? We're good. We're good. It's nice to be back. I think I spoke with you last time. I think you did. Yeah. So let's pick up where we left off. What good news do you have for me today? Well, based on what we talked about last time, the O.J. Simpson series that I worked with Dr. Mohandi, um, we had an overwhelming response after the show from normal people like us just asking for us to do the same thing we did with that investigation for their loved ones, for their family members, for their friends, for people in their community, because although those cases may not be as prevalent in the world, they're just as important. And we had an overwhelming response requesting our assistance, and Investigation Discovery has been receiving the same type of request for years. So we decided that we wanted to do the same thing for people who maybe don't have a voice as big as some of these other celebrities out there, some of these more famous cases. And uh, that's what we decided to do, but instead we're doing it in a two-hour a two-hour episode where we spend the first half educating the audience on the case itself, because again, it's not as known. And we spend the second half really diving into the facts and seeing how far that Chris and I can further the case. Breaking Homicide, are, it, Breaking Homicide is a series of six episodes, each two hours, in which we try to carry a case forward and ultimately try to solve these unresolved cases, many of which involve uh, homicides, some of which involve multiple homicides, and it's, it's chronicling, basically, our investigative path. You guys, the show is doing extremely well from what I'm, I'm reading and what I'm hearing, and my audience told me that they're, they're tuner, they tune in. What's, what's so different about this? Well, I think there's an authenticity to it. You know, we really became emotionally involved in these cases because that was our sole purpose, each individual case, as we worked it. But I also think we're taking it a step further. There's a lot of shows out there, and they're very good shows, where... They'll, they'll, they'll highlight the case, and then at the end they say, hey, listen, if you have anything that can help, please contact your local authorities, which we would also implore during our show. If you see anything and you know something that may assist the investigation, please do that. That is part of it. But we're not just going off of that. We're going in our own direction based on our personal and professional experience, and we're taking the case as far as we can. And in some cases, that results in some allegations being made at a particular person they become a person of interest, and instead of just turning that over, we confront that person ourselves to give them the opportunity to explain themselves, and, and that's what people really want to see. They want answers. It's been 20, 30 years in some cases. They don't want to wait till tomorrow. They want answers today. That's very true. You, is it because you, and also to you guys, or uh, uh, Derek, you're a forensic, excuse me, Psychologist. Reverse that. And Chris. Reverse that. Actually, Derek's the Derek's the former police officer. I'm the uh -huh. forensic psychologist. But the the truth is, if you're a good forensic psychologist, you think a little bit like a cop, and if you're a good cop, you think a little bit like a psychologist. So you're not completely wrong there. So are you guys, because you guys are a good match, that gives you strength and power for what you do. Because you guys are really popular, according to, once again, according to what I'm reading. I'm trying to see what's the formula. Well, we're, we're de very different. We come from very different personal and professional backgrounds, but what we share is a drive and determination to find the truth. And that's not something you can create. You either have it or you don't. And I saw that instantly when I met Chris. And our, our friendship has only grown from there. So it's not just a working relationship. It's a friendship, and we're willing to call how we see it, regardless of whether we agree with each other or not. And I think people respond to that. Yeah, there's a there's a there's mutual respect, and um, uh, you know Derek's an incredible interviewer, and he's got fantastic instincts and life experiences from his on the job work and his life, and I think that that is a natural complementary relationship. Um, you know, and like Derek said, we don't always agree, and in fact, we it is in those disagreements sometimes that we're able to really tease out alternate theories of what may have happened. You get too much agreement, that can lead to tunnel vision. And I think we have the nicest, a, a nice balance of, of that respect, good foundation of relationship and rapport between us. 
And that enables us, as we move through these investigations, to challenge assumptions and be able to, to look at it with a fresh perspective. And I hear it in you guys' conversation and your back and forth banter. Let me ask you, will you guys do this? How does it, I know it's, it's, it's done for other people, but does any of the residue of it stay with you? Do you have like nightmares or, or, or bad times or you can't shake it? Well, I can tell you this, the case doesn't end for us. Every one of these cases doesn't end for us until there's an ultimate conclusion, which is a solve, which is a, or, or at minimum finding out who did this and letting the families know that. But I, I, I will go on and say that we don't just film these episodes and then move on. Uh, we're in constant contact with the family members from each case. Uh, I, I called a, f a family from one of the cases we did a week ago, and we had a conversation just about life and where they are today because we're, we're, we're connected to these cases until the end. We're, we're, we're going to work with them on or off camera until they get the resolution and the closure that they're looking for. Yeah, I think that the, um, the camera happens to be rolling while we're doing what we're doing, but it's really about the people first and... Uh, you know, there are episodes where you will see both of us getting, you know, somewhat emotional, actually quite emotional, because, you know, if, if you're really doing this kind of work, yes, you're being professional and objective, but you're also making a real connection with people. And, and um, the, the people that we've had the f good fortune that have entrusted us are salt of the earth. And um, I think uh, anybody that tunes in will see that and, and understand why... It's, it's so easy to become attached, and, and that just makes, makes us want to do our job even more. But to your question about trauma and whether we've been traumatized by any of it, I, I'd say, you know, how could any human being uh, not have some of it stick with us? Uh, you know, I think that that's a natural thing, and I've certainly dreamt about, had nightmares in the past about cases, and... Uh, uh, and it, it has impacted, you know, how I view, how I view life. Um, um, but you regain your perspective and you do what you do because you want to make this world a better place and you want to help ease the suffering and pain of the people who we're trying to help. Well, under this investigation discovery, you guys are really two nice guys. I like that. Thank you. We try. So we're going. So we're going to be watching you. Tell us when you want us to watch you on investigation discovery. W w when is the next time? April 15th is the premiere, Sunday nights, 9 p.m., Investigation Discovery. Right, and that'll be well, happening every week from that point forward at the same local time on, on, on Sundays. All right, and thank you guys, you know, for talk about it and give us a little bit of a personal view. I really like that. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Appreciate thank seeing you. you again, Valder. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye-bye. See you again. Bye.